You have been making three major mistakes in your spoken English, and I'm gonna tell you what they are. Stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you a bonus critique that I can almost guarantee that you're doing wrong. Mistake number one, sir and miss. I've seen this countless times. You've gotta stop using sir and miss in the wrong contexts, in the wrong places, and with the wrong people. Sir and miss pertains to people like officers, doctors, dentists, people in the army, for example. That's where you would use sir or miss. Now, you wouldn't use sir or miss in a shop, convenience store, at a cricket game, at a football game, for example. You just wouldn't use it in casual settings, especially when talking to people in casual settings. So that's mistake number one. You gotta stop doing it. Mistake number two, body language. If you are learning English and you completely abandon body language to focus on pronouncing things properly and conveying conversation with people just here and not here, here, and here, you're missing out on the potential of being a great English speaker. Keep your body language, keep your eyes, keep your facial expressions the way they were before you started learning English. Don't change the way you communicate with your body. Trust me, this is a big mistake I see and it becomes very monotone when talking to people that completely lost their body language in conversation. Mistake number three, and probably one of the biggest mistakes on this list, sorry. Being the sorry guy. If you're gonna say sorry every time you go to borrow something or every time you're trying to get past someone or every time you do something or even in every sentence, trust me, I've seen this thousands of times. The sorry guy. It's extremely annoying. It's, it's not casual in any way, shape or form and it almost comes across lazy. If you're gonna use sorry in place of excuse me, hey, I'm behind you, hey, can I borrow that? It doesn't come across very good in the English language. Okay, conclusion. Mistake one, sir and miss. Stop doing it unless you know how to utilize those words in the right context. Mistake number two, body language. Keep your body language. Use body language when speaking English. It is so important. Humans don't just speak with sound. We speak with our eyes, face, and body. Mistake number three, don't be the sorry guy. As promised, bonus critique number four. Look, this is one of the biggest mistakes you are probably making, and that's using the word dear. If you're gonna use the word dear, you'd better know who can use that word and why that word gets used. And let me tell you, there's probably only two people in this world that are ever gonna use that word. And that's your grandfather and your grandmother, okay? It, it, in the most, most particular situations, maybe someone who's dramatically older than you would say the word dear to someone who's dramatically younger, okay? Dear is more specific towards grandparents and people dramatically older than you. You don't say it back. It shouldn't be said in casual conversation. It's, it doesn't fit the suit with English. Please stop using dear out of context. Well, I'm getting hungry. 